everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope this video finds you well and welcome back to another episode of First Encounter. And this time we're gonna I'm going to be talking about my experience with uh hunting Ruko Diora for the first time in Monster Hunter Frontier Z. Now, even though I did play the Taiwanese version, I never 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 got to the point where I could fight Ruko Diora. And I have to say it's one hunt that I would honestly not forget get for the remaining of my whole hunting career in the Monster Hunter franchise. <laughs> if you could if you could basically say that uh I would say it's very, very unique for a monster to actually use gravity uh, as a source of power. Even though it does have the ability to shoot out dragon, I believe that's dragon. I'm still kind of doing like research on it so that I can have a better understanding of it. But yeah, showing that it, that it could do that when it comes to using gravity, when it actually has a small boulder circling around it, that it can literally hit you if you're not paying attention as well as it has the ability to even either suck you in or push you away whenever it tries to do an attack or basically just wants to get you away from him if you try if you're dealing a lot of damage and that is something that uh that i actually can enjoy with fighting Ruko Diora, because even though even with the name, it has a lot of similar. I think it has some similarities to uh, to Kushala with the way it moves, with the way it looks. I mean, does it have the same moon like move set as uh, Kushala, which you can see some similarities to it when it comes to like the whole breath thing and like. And things like that but when it comes to like the element it's completely different the, the design completely different i would say that i like if we were to compare design from kushala diora from ruko diora then i would lean more towards ruko diora just for the design alone because oh my god this monster looks it looks visually pleasing especially while you fight it while it has like a circle of gravity uh you know like surrounding it that if you do get affected by it um i guess it does leave something uh on your hunter which basically allows it to you know suck you in push you away and things like that um it does have some really cool uh it does have some like really 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 cool attack moves that you could definitely be you could definitely see here I'm not gonna lie i did had a, a hard time fighting him at first because I was using hammer and I was trying to definitely knock him out so that I can deal a lot of damage at one given time but at the same time even though I was getting used to uh, the controls of Monster Hunter Frontier Z I was trying to figure out the controls for the hammer as well even though I have used it uh, many times before it's just with Frontier they have a whole different system when it comes to uh, how you hunt uh the monsters they do have different types of style and right now i guess the most the most powerful style is extreme style because each style allows you to do different things at given time um now like after playing it now i didn't know that <laughs> i honestly did not know that about the styles until i did more research will you which you will see in and future recordings of uh, a <laughs> first encounter with the other monsters, but yeah, definitely, definitely something that it's like really, really nice to see. Something that I will never forget. Like it makes me more addicted to uh, like playing Monster Hunter Frontier Z. And honestly, I've been playing a crap ton of Monster Hunter lately. Ever since I got my hands on Frontier Z, ever since uh, ever since the new trailer and the whole digital event for Sunbreak, I know. I am recording this late because like oh my god this like so much has been going on that I needed to get back to the first encounter series because that's actually a series that I actually do enjoy uh, doing so of course we have to come back right to it but right now these are just my thoughts with Ruko Diora uh, please let me know what you guys think of Ruko Diora did you enjoy him did you enjoy hunting him did you, did you if you didn't 
still let me know <laughs> but yeah you i'll definitely be back with more because i did uh hunt uh power of puria i did fight um Toricles, which honestly i did not have fun fighting that monster which you would definitely uh, i would definitely talk about that honestly i would definitely definitely talk about that but yeah hope you guys hope you guys enjoyed this video um Honestly, I'm actually like really happy that I'm back with doing this, but you'll definitely definitely see more in the upcoming and like in the near future. But yeah, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you are new and you enjoy my content, please feel free to hit that subscribe button with notifications on so you won't miss any of my future videos. And with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. I know I keep saying that. Please go ahead, uh, leave a leave a comment down below on what you think of Ruka Diora or what is your favorite hunt in the entire Monster Hunter Frontier Z uh game because I, I really want to know because right now i'm very close to fighting the sand turtle and i'm so happy because i always wanted to fight that thing because i love i love the sand turtle it's like a red blastoise but yeah <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this video and like i said i'll see you all in the next one take care and peace